sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13, so that means this channel is not for anyone under the age of 13. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 18 here, and today in this video we do have another toy haul and unboxing video for you, and I did get a bunch of figurines in the mail. So the first one here, which will be my next review, which I think I already uploaded actually, so I, I, yeah, I'm going to be uploading my review before this, so the review should have popped up already, and it is the uh, Best Buy exclusive Hasbro Black Series Heavy Infantry uh, Mandalorian, and this is a, a pretty damn cool figure, especially for the price point. I think Hasbro did a, a fantastic job on this figure here, man. Just really great work on the detail. My review is up on my channel if you would like to check it out. And it is a Best Buy exclusive, so you can only buy it at Best Buy. I did get it off their website. I'm not sure if you can get it in store, but you can definitely get it off the website. Another figure I got, which I got from my buddy, he just sent it to me. He was asking people if they would do trades for either this figure or another figure and he wanted one of the figures i had so i offered him a trade for this figure but he said he already got that figure and he said he'd just send me this one and i was like for for real dude you don't want me to give you any money he's like no nah, it's christmas just consider it a christmas gift so thank you very much uh to my buddy brad jones for sending this which is the hasbro black series cara or cara dune which is the character we did see in episode uh, four. And the figure is really cool looking and it does resemble, I forgot her name, the uh, the Gina something. It does resemble her, her uh, really well, man. It's just a pretty damn cool figure, man. Hasbro is doing a really nice job with their Star Wars stuff. And they actually did just reveal a Baby Yoda that I pre-ordered right when I saw that it was up for pre-order and it is a black series baby yoda so definitely can't wait for that one in may which i will uh, go over in my next figure news video and then the next thing i got here which i was really pumped to get because i got it for uh, a steal practically 21.99 for this set on entertainmentearth.com and it is the Dubak and sand trooper this is such a cool set man just the Dubak alone made it worth it and i did order this do back before i saw episode five of the mandalorian which the mandalorian is riding a do back later on in the episode so it actually worked out really well that i did order this i was just ordering it for the hell of it because it was a hell of a deal and it's just a, a cool set man so really really happy that i got this i don't think i'm gonna review it i mean if you really want me to let me know in the comments below but really really cool set there i don't think uh Entertainment Earth still has it for $21.99. I think they sold out of it, but that's a great deal for that set right there. Now for the things I did not unbox yet. So this one here, I think I got off eBay and it was a figure I had and I ended up selling it because I was in the middle of moving and I, ha I had to get money up together. So I had to sell it and re regretted selling it. So I'm very happy that I have it back again and no it is not a thundercats figure they just put it in a thundercats uh box here so let's see what is inside this box i think this is yeah all right this is what i thought it was it is the uh oh yeah it's going to be a lot of star wars stuff again it's not all star wars but most of it most of it is and it is another sh figure arts yoda I had to get him back in my collection, man. I'm still, I'm still also waiting for that other package, which had my Darth Maul and Baton and Shield Stormtrooper, or First Order Stormtrooper that I bought off my buddy E. Rivera. It was supposed to, to deliver November 30th, and it's just said the same thing since December 2nd. What the hell did the post office do with my damn package, with my figures, man? I keep calling them. Don't get any calls back. I finally did a where's my package online, so hopefully they'll email me back and find my damn package, man. I just want my stuff. I just want my shit. God damn, USPS. Jeez Louise. Uh, but I don't need to open this. I already made a review, and we all know what the packaging looks like. So that's one thing I got. Another thing I got here, I think I got this off eBay as well, either eBay 
or Amazon. Let's take a look here and see what is inside this box here. Yeah, all right, hey. And it is a Black Series figure, and this one is Hera from uh, Rebels, which is a character I really do like a lot, and I wanted more woman characters in my Star Wars display, so I decided to get Hera here instead of um, Sabine. I, I do have to eventually get Sabine, then I will have all of them. I really don't want to get Ezra, because he's actually my least favorite character on the show, and I'm on Season 3 right now. I just don't like him as a character, so I don't really care for his figure. I would get a Zeb, though, if they do make a Zeb, but another reason why I got this figure, because the, the sculpt of the face is just really beautiful on this. They did a, a very nice job with it, and I made sure to pick one out that ha had eyes looking in the same direction as well. I did get it off eBay, that's right, because on eBay, when I buy a Black Series, I make sure the eyes aren't all cockeyed and crooked before I buy it. That's one thing that irritates me probably the most about a figure, when it doesn't have ankle pivot and when the eyes are looking in two different directions. Those are the two things I can't stand with figures. Crappy ankle pivot and then when the eyes aren't painted looking in the same direction, but pretty cool looking figure, man. So really glad I ended up getting that. And then the last thing here, oh yeah, and also wanted to mention, I know last weekend I said I was gonna make a video of what your top 10 favorite figures of 2019 are i'll probably upload that video this weekend i still need to find a website where uh you guys could like put your votes in and it tallies it up if anything i'm just gonna have you guys just comment like your top five favorite figures of 2019 and then i'll just tally up the votes or something like that like what i did last year i guarantee you it is not star wars for those of you who don't really care too much about star wars this is a figure I missed out the first time around, then they did reissue the figure, and uh, glad I'm able to get it at retail price, because when they didn't announce a reissue and put it up for a, a, a reissue pre-order, the figure was going for like 300 plus bucks, and this is one of my favorite anime series as of right now, and it is the Figma My Hero Academia Midoriya, aka Deku. And this is not the one with the mask. It's just the regular version. I didn't even care for the one with the mask because he doesn't even wear that mask. But uh, definitely happy as hell that I finally have a Midoriya in my collection. I wonder how he's going to scale with my McFarlane All Might, which will eventually be replaced by the Rebel Tech one. I'm pretty sure uh, Figma is going to make one as well. And this is definitely going to be my next review on my channel. So look forward to to that but anyway that is my toy haul unboxing video for you i hope you enjoyed it if you would like to support the channel don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell and if you liked it feel free to give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it oh well i guess you didn't like it but thanks for watching i will see you later